Is that? Yeah. 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 There's a broken on, on a woman talking out there. Could somebody from those pictures on the floor come forward? Did you hear something there? Yeah, it's somebody outside. Hi right, guys, so back out again. Um, we're at a K home that you may recognise from a recent Ouija Brothers video. And again, we're with Mike, not Mark. Mike. Ah, see. Well done. <laughs> and Adrian from Real Evidence. So we've been here, how long have we been here? Hour, hour and a half. Yeah. We've had a few weird noises, but they may just be doors pulling. Me and Adrian heard a woman's voice, um, but he was coming in through an open window. It was a neighbour. So we've closed that window. Um, but we, th I thought I heard a woman mumble something upstairs. And I sort of just sort of froze and cocked my ear. And then obviously you then heard I it as well. You, yeah, yeah. Uh, Adrian, as usual. Didn't hear it. No. Um, and we heard it again later, but that was just as I opened the door, and we've noticed that the door at the top of the stairs, when you open or close it, it pulls the downstairs door. So that's possibly, mm. or probably what that was. Yeah. So um, the place is in a bit of a state. All the sinks have been smashed up. The ceilings are caved in. The other side of the building, there's loads of dripping, so we're not going to be able to do much over there. But um, we're going to take you. I think we've decided we're going to take them on a walk. Yeah, through, yeah, we? definitely have a little explore. And so we've already checked all the rooms just to make sure there's nobody here because obviously we don't want to be surprised. Don't want to surprise anyone else either. There's nobody else here, so uh, we'll take you on a walk around with us. So yeah, guys, as you come in through our entrance, <laughs> which is a window, I'm not going to show you. We've got, well, I don't know what this is. I think this was a dining area, wasn't it? Because there was... Um, the kitchen's the other end, though, isn't it? Kitchen, uh, well, I, mean, I mean, there's a serving hatch ah. just here. Um, and we've got today's menu. Right. Up on here. So I guess this is that's just an extended... Extended dining room. I mean, it's a big uh, building. Yeah. It is big. Doesn't look that as big on the outside, but when you get in here, it's like a, like a maze. So we've got some old paintings, chairs. Got the standard pentagram written <laughs> on the. Uh... Somebody's drawn it wrong though. Yeah. yeah. They've drawn a Star of David, the idiots. Yeah. <laughs> oh. um. I'm lost again. That way's to the drippage. Yeah. <laughs> Was it this way to the stairs? Or? I don't know, it all looks the same. I don't think it is. We might as well go down here first. Oh, this is the uh, favourite room, isn't it? Uh, oh yeah, Nickers. yeah. Nick could really running down the corridor now. You said that now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's room seven. <laughs> Steve's yeah. favourite room. <laughs> this is probably the cleanest smelling room, actually. Yeah. Mm. yeah there's one room upstairs. I'm not going back in because it's stunk. Yeah. This was the room they were in. The noises in, weren't they? Yeah. Yes, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, the window is broken there. You can hear the outside a little bit easier than normal. Yeah. Also, um, as Steve said, there is a little bit of history behind this care home. Um, a couple of deaths through. Um, Neglect. I haven't looked it up because I, I don't want to know. So we're going to be respectful when we investigate. Yeah, definitely. It's just more rooms down there. They're all the same, aren't they, really? I don't think I've been down there yet. Oh. 
I don't think I have. No, no, because you shot yourself in room seven. God, it smells really strong in here. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It stinks. Really s strong care home smell. Yeah. Or is it like the disinfectant kind of? Yeah, it must be. Oh, wow. Have you seen the wallpaper in this room? Yeah. The dog, all the dogs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I must have missed this room. Yeah, I missed this room as well. Come on, guys. I mean... It's because we were avoiding you. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to be downwind from yeah. you. I mean, it's not... You wouldn't associate this type of wallpaper with an elderly person, would you? Well, I don't know. We're quite lucky that there's... Um, there's no sort of main road. There's a little estate by the side of us. Yeah. I don't know what that is next. I don't know if that's another care home. I mean, I don't think I've actually heard another car since we've been here. No. No. So that's helpful. Yeah, it is. There's um, a bit less of the noise pollution. And because it's been so wet and miserable, we're probably not going to hear sort of people out and about. No. Yeah. It's going to be dark any time now, isn't it? Any time now, Very yeah. Soon, yeah. Yes, the only thing we've got to think about is the uh, dripping everywhere. Yeah. Well, not everywhere, but in quite yeah, a lot. Yeah, the one side of the building is dripping through the ceiling and into the floor below, so I think calling out day is going to be... It, uh, definitely a no-go. We're <laughs> close to some pervert. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a wonder. Let's go. <laughs> We'll just have a little walk through the drippage area. Yeah. Into the red room. Um, we'll try and lounge. I always get confused bit. at this yeah, bit. Yeah, down here and then down. Yeah, there. this bit seems like a dead end, but then it just carries on. Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice this as well. The old school yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Nurse service cool. uh, nurse call thing. Yeah. That's old, that. That's even older. This one here. So yeah, this is where the leak is, guys. Shame, because this is a quite nice area of the building, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that doll, that would have been quite impressive back in the day before. Uh, yeah. I haven't been in here. No. It's got a fireplace and everything in here. Oh, that slimy door. Obviously careful of uh, oh. panning onto that. Yeah. And... Charming. Oh. <laughs> Charming. <sighs> oh, it stinks in here. Yeah, it's a bit mouldy in here, isn't it? I hope there's not a basement, because this floor is... Um... Yeah, there is a basement. Is there? Yeah, where have I seen it? I've seen stairs going downstairs somewhere. Well, you kept that quiet. Oh. So we got to be careful what angle we film on in here because there's um, just not very nice things yeah. written all over the walls. Um, I haven't got no time for any of that nasty sh no, stuff. No. Yeah, exactly. What's through, what's through that door there? Uh, we haven't been through there. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to... Turn my camera without getting that on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll oh. have to learn how to censor stuff. Oh, there is a basement. Oh. I haven't seen anyone down there, I don't think. We just, every time we walk around here, we just find, find new rooms. rooms. Yeah. There's more down here. That's a ramp. What the hell? Oh my god. Don't tell me it's a whole new, it's a whole new block. Oh, I've, been, I've been down here already. Oh. You've been down here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's a big place and I can't remember everywhere I've been. Just, uh, 
Oh, I mean, look at all the, oh, could you, look at all these photos and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, I took pictures of them. <laughs> It's all the royal family. Yeah. yeah. He is here as well. That's all it is. The Queen. Wow. So, four years ago this place closed, wasn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. A nice owl wallpaper. I can't believe he kept it quiet, this part of the building. I didn't realise all this was here. Well, the, the place is huge, like a rabbit warren, because everything looks the same as well you kind of lose your bearings very easy yeah but it's definitely the worst condition building we've been in or i've been in no i've been in a lot worse yeah red door number four <laughs> Seen that wallpaper actually. Oh, the owls. Cheers, thank you. Oh, yeah. I mean, these seem like these are a bit more like premium, these, these yes. rooms. Yes. I mean, they're a bit bigger. Fucking hell. This part smells cleaner as well. Yeah. Like, there's certain rooms upstairs that just don't smell good at all. Laundry. Oh, wow, there's still washing machines in there. Yeah. Brum, 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 massive brum, tumble dryer as well. The size of that. The size of that. Adrian's probably already seen all this. Yeah, I have, yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Thanks for sharing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember every room I've been in. I mean, it's a big place. But this it's is like the best part of the building. <laughs> what, fucking tumble dryers? No, just this this, this wing. Mm, East yeah. wing, we'll call it's, it. It's okay, but... It's okay. <laughs> this, this really nice... Yeah. Less smelly. No skiddy knickers. Ugh. Yeah, if you pull them out in my car, mate, you're getting out. <laughs> <laughs> Which means if I pull them out, you'll have them on. <laughs> Anyone else you've been that we haven't? Uh, no, I think that's about it now. Are you the, sure? Apart from the cellar. Oh yeah, where was that? Just in there. Just there. Did you, you go down the cellar? No. Not me own. <laughs> so, I think this is another stairs here, isn't it? Yeah. Right, that's the room we just came out of. It's like a washroom. Wet room. So is anyone going down the cellar there? Oh. Yeah, there's another stairway there. I don't remember this one. Or is that the same we one? Were, we looked down here from the top. <laughs> ah. What's he laughing for? Check out the cellar then. <clears throat> oh dear. <sighs> Jesus, it's quite big down here. To be fair. Oh God, holy shit, look at all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's quite warm down here. <laughs> it is, there's resident photos and stuff in there, so yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna disturb any of that. That looks like an old door. Yeah. See, there's any acorn shells original down door, that one. all the Christmas stuff. Yep. So I see the maintenance room. Yeah. I'm just seeing if there's any acorn shells. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to start flinging them about. Yeah, don't forget to pause your camera so I can mm, throw it. Well, exactly. <laughs> yeah, like you say, it's just a bit of a maintenance bit of this, but... Yeah. It's quite big down here though, isn't it? it must be, yeah. Yeah, it smells, my mate I used to have a cellar and it smelled the exact same as this. Like Joseph Fritzel. <laughs> 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 oh, God's sake. I won't take you anywhere. <laughs> I think you should, he's <laughs> fine. <laughs> hey, what's down here? Shit. Oh, another just a cupboard. Is that just a Christmas tree one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Does this go on down here and all? Oh, I think so. Oh. oh wow, it's got some like oh, it's like really old paintings and stuff in there. Yeah, years and years and years of paperwork. Oh, what's on that door? Is that mould? Yeah, there's oh. <laughs> that is Jesus. Don't know if I should be breathing that in. No, I'm not going to be staying on the earth for that long. No. Oh, it's, oh, it's on the walls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's on <under> it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. It's lovely. Yeah, I think maybe. Uh, oh, it's all over this door as well. Yep. Is it? Yeah, yeah, careful. Oh. Moldington. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who you whistle that? To get out of there without mm. touching it. None of you whistle that, do you? No. No. That's my stomach. Let's shoot it. I wonder if it's somebody with a dog. Could be. It is a lean. Could well be. Yeah, so um, the red room's the only one we're meaning now, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Just through here. Where? This way? Yeah, yeah. on your right. Oh, yeah, so it is. Ah, oh, it's dripped on my neck. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, cold. So, guys, this is the area we're not going to be able to um, investigate or call out in, at least, because it just drips. Too much drippage. And drippage right there. Yeah. That is the worst colour green I have ever seen. In there. The walls. Yeah. Pea green. Do you know what? I didn't notice that earlier. Oh, oh look, I'm more weird the considering we stood in there for 15 minutes. Yeah. Huey green. That is hideous. Well, that's uh, a little explorer of the downstairs um, because of the the window situation upstairs we're gonna have to do that in night vision so I think we'll probably just I don't know start the investigation yeah uh, we're gonna do start upstairs and come back down or kind of if you want or whatever I'm easy Okay, so we've come upstairs to the first floor. Uh, like I said, we've gone into night vision because I can literally see the street now uh, and houses that can look into the property uh, and see us. So we're in the dark, uh, we're in the corridor and we're gonna call out. Um, Dale is that end, Adrian is down that end. And uh, yeah, see if we can get anything, so. So you've got your key two there, is it? Yeah. I got my K2. So Adrian's K2, or Adrian and Mike's K2 is there. I've got a tri-field meter there. If the MF spikes, that'll flash red and make an alarm. It's quite quiet, so it's not going to jump scare anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so to any of the residents that could still reside at this care home, we're calling out to you. We mean no harm. We are here with the utmost respect. We're aware of some horror stories attached to this place, but we're not going to concentrate on that. We just want to know if anyone wants to come forward and speak to us. If you can do that with your voice, tap in all the boxes that you can see on that radiator cover there. If you go near those, they should light up. That's the dripping over there, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's dripping. Drippage. So would any spirits like to come forward? My name is Dale. My name is Michael. And I'm Adrian. And we travel the country 
looking for signs of the paranormal. So if you could come forward and perhaps make a noise for us, say something to us, trigger our devices, we'd really appreciate it. So when we were up here earlier, it, we heard what sounded like potentially a woman's voice. If that was you, could you do it again for us, please, so that we know it's not a neighbour? My stomach again. <laughs> Typical. It's quite strange that all the sounds that we have heard have sounded female. Yeah. I mean, it could just be there's a female in the building next door. Yeah. More but than likely, unfortunately. But I'm So sure. could you knock for us, please, like this? So if you can't knock, could you make your way to these devices? If you touch them, they could light up. I mean, if you've got the energy, push them over. That would really impress us. In fact, I prefer that, to be honest. Yeah. That was my bag on the door frame behind me. Yeah, my stomach keeps gurgling now. It's annoying me. <laughs> Could you make a noise to which room you're in? Maybe we're in the wrong place? What was worth, is, uh, what is worth noting even, is when Mike went on his wander earlier, we couldn't hear him and he couldn't hear us calling out for him. No. When we were downstairs. Uh, yeah, Adrian, when, yeah, when we first got in. So downstairs may have a lot less sort of contamination in that one when we were in because we didn't hear him. No. Even when you were on the phone with him, I couldn't hear him. No. It was only when he got real close to us we could hear him talking. Yeah. So earlier on, me and Mike came into this room and I thought me opening the door to stir this wardrobe, it sounded like something tapping on it. We, had not, we didn't unpack any of our gear yet, we were making sure there's nobody here. We've tried to recreate it, and um, we haven't been able to do it. Maybe something, maybe nothing. So uh, it was almost like something was like rattling the hangers in there, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. But we've shifted our weight in here since. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a light man, and it hasn't done it with three of us walking in. So if there are any spirits who can hear us inside this care home. Please, 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 can you come forward and give us a sign that you are here with us? You can hear us. Maybe you can see us. Rain, I can hear now. Yeah, I thought I can hear. Could that be what we have heard earlier? From the no, water? that's quite distinct, that. It yeah. That sounded like something rattling in there. Well, earlier on when we came into this room, we thought we could hear rattling coming from the wardrobe. If that was you, by any chance, could you please do that again for us? Do you mind us being in your room? If you want us to leave your room, Make a loud bang for us. Something significant. Mm. Something prominent. Yeah. If you can make a loud bang to tell us we're not wanted, we leave this room and respect your wishes. What was that? I swallowed. 
Was it that loud? It sounded like, mm. unless that's how, what noise you made when you swallowed. I don't think I made that noise when I swallowed. No. <laughs> I didn't think that was that. strange. Again, sounded like a woman, but sounded distant. Didn't sound like it was in this room. So possibly a neighbour again. Uh, so is there a lady here that we've heard tonight? I thought I heard like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm hearing like distant voices. I said there's a lady here tonight. I heard mm -hmm. from up there, very faint. It could be something else, but. I'm, I'm hearing it now, just mumbling. Oh yeah. Yeah. But from where? I don't know, I can't tell where it is. And now I can't hear it. No, I mean, the amount of dripping going on, it could yeah, be. Yeah, that's all I can hear dripping behind me, dripping from over that way somewhere. Yeah, I mean, I'm guessing it could be like audio pareidolia coming it from could the dripping. Be, yeah. Because it is going on quite a lot. Yeah. So, I mean, if we did just hear you, thank you very much. Could you try to speak a little louder, please? Hearing it now. I'm sure I just should look up. Mm. Let's go out there. Let's go out, yeah, because that it's too noisy in here. Yeah, it might even be just be some sort of reverberation or something. Yeah. But uh, my window's gone. The Arctic trap's missing as well. Stand here and see if I can hear somebody outside. There's a woman outside talking. There's a woman outside talking. There's a woman outside talking. I might be able to see who's talking. If you look out that window. Oh yeah, there's literally somebody's back garden right there. Yeah, yeah. Can you see there's like the row of houses and then the back gardens? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Because I think this might be the window that I shot earlier. Oh, they've got a lean to and lights and everything up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Hi right, guys, so obviously we thought we were hearing voices in response, and technically we were. Yeah. <laughs> it's the wrong type of voice. But they were very yeah. real voices. We've just looked out the window. There's a lean-to with like um, solar lights and stuff. There's a couple outside. So the conversations we were hearing was actually people. It's room seven underneath where we just were. No, room seven's backing on to where we came in, isn't it? Which one's room seven? The knickers? The knickers room, yeah. I don't know. I no, that's... Yeah, that's underneath where we just were. Is it? Yeah. Definitely. So down there is where the... Where the dripping's coming from, the, that, that impressive... Um, oh, what, the skylight? Thing. Skylight, yeah. Okay. So that's the point that's furthest away from the neighbours. Yeah. But it's contaminated with dripping. Yeah. So to the resident of this room, could you come forward and speak to us, please? We don't mean any harm or disrespect. We are what are called paranormal investigators. We're just interested if you still reside here.
So could you do something for us, please, to let us know that you're here? Did you pick up the... Oh, no, I've got it. I gave you your key, too. Yeah, yeah. So on your chair there, I've put a little device. It reads temperature changes and energy changes. If you could come towards that device, it'll beep to let us know that you're near, or that's what I'm told. So could you do that for us, please? Could you knock for us? Could you knock on the window? Nobody ever asks for people to knock on the window. <laughs> no, where's the door? It's always the door. Mm. If you could just give us something to just to show us that you are here, then we would be grateful, really grateful. How do you feel about having three men in your room? I'm assuming it's a woman's room. Stuff on the shelves doesn't look... No. ...like for men. I've actually got a broom right oh, yeah. next to me and Asian here, in between us. Oh, no, broom gate again. Yeah. yeah. Could you perhaps push that over for us? If you can push that over for us, we'll leave right now. I mean, it just kind of reminds me a bit of last weekend, like being in an asylum and thinking, why, if you know, if there was such a thing as spirits, why would they want to come back to an asylum? Mm. Um, yeah. And if this care home had a bit of a bit of a reputation, a bit of a yeah reputation for some of the things that may or may not have happened here. You know, why would you want to come back here? Mm. But on the flip side of it, surely not everybody here could have had a no a all bad time. It was so like the stone tape. Well, I don't believe in the stone tape theory as such, but if there was something traumatic and upsetting, yeah, yeah. then you know it could be rooted according uh -huh. to some belief systems. Yeah, I'd be more on edge in this care home than I've been anywhere else. Really? I think, yeah, but I think that's because every time I look at a window, <laughs> there's yeah. houses and... Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So we're going to move on to another part of this building soon. So if there is anybody in this room still connected to this room, come on, just do something for us, please. Before we leave you on your own again. I got quite excited earlier when I started hearing voices, but uh, there's yeah, a realisation yeah, yeah. now that there's just two people in the garden. Yeah, yeah. it probably was, could have been that. Cause Although, there was listening a... to her, when she was talking and when I had my head by the door, she's got like that proper deep smoke, uh, yeah. older lady, and yeah. the voice we heard earlier was like a, yeah, a higher more of a pitch. softer, yeah. higher pitch, yeah. But then there is quite a few houses out there. I mean, I just heard something there. Did you hear something there? No. I said a hoo, hoo, like that. Mm. Do that again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sounds like you've just been entered. <laughs> I can't even remember what's down there. Water. Oh, yeah, I know it's fucking water. It's kind of oh, I just stood in a pad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. oh Jesus Christ. <clears throat> what the f Well there's another pad there, so <laughs> be careful. Don't trip over the pad. I thought that was a step then, it's not. Okay, so this area is quite quiet. Is this another corridor or just room? This is a corridor with room. Oh yeah. Oh, this is. <laughs> <laughs> what? The? Are you all right? 
<laughs> what did you? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Bring the sponge. What have you walked into now? I don't know what. Who the hell left that there? <laughs> oh, I see oh, they tripped on it. I saw it wedged know. under the door. <sighs> oh. Is this another corridor or just rooms? This is a corridor with rooms. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Are you alright? <laughs> what did you. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Bring the sponge. This is. Oh, great. So I've stubbed my toe and broke my shin. That's, <laughs> oh, that's just perfect. Oh. Oh. Do you reckon those two neighbours are sat in the garden yeah, and they've just shoot? The f- <laughs> yeah. I told you that place was haunted. <laughs> yeah. There was flashing lights in there last week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> dear, dear. Oh, that's going to be bruised tomorrow. <sighs> so we're in room 39. Could the resident of room 39 come forward to us, please? Could you speak to us? It's dry. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no, it's, it's not. not. There you go. Oh, it's under the seat. seat. Look, it's hitting the back of the seat and then running down. And running underneath. down. Oh. oh, see, this is this is where we heard the woman before. Yeah, I can smell pee, and it didn't smell like pee earlier. Perhaps we could uh, have a call out on this stairs for a minute before we go down. Yeah. We'll shut this door. Oh, shit. That was that noise. Yeah, Yeah. the door. Yeah. Uh Okay. (laughs) So that's another thing to bunt. (laughs) Yeah. So the, the female voice that me and Mike did earlier, it's just a... Uh, Squeaky door. Yeah, we couldn't recreate it earlier, but maybe the temperature's dropped and that's what's caused it again. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this is yeah, I can, I can smell urine really bad. Can you? Yeah. There's two stairs there. Yeah, it didn't smell a pee here earlier. No, it didn't. Keep thinking I'm hearing <gasps> all the time. Oh shit! Oh yeah, that's the two stairs you're all about. <laughs> I just, I just told you about that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Right, so uh, obviously we've come downstairs and picked the part of the building that's furthest away from neighbours. Very little dripping noise. We've closed some doors behind us to try and uh, stop any contamination from the leaks in the building. You can hear the rain outside just. I I think this is as quiet as we're going to get it. Yeah, I think so. I think so. So while it's quiet, if there's any of the residents of this care home that still reside here want to come forward and communicate with us in some form, I'd be knocking talking, touching one of us, throwing something at us. If you could do anything like that, we'd really appreciate it. Just give us some kind of sign that you're here. What 
o Zahar. I think there was something dripping onto metal. It was blink, blink. blink. It, it sounded like a like a crying. Could have no. been like a dog, maybe. I thought I had a dog barking, maybe. Is it a dog, was it? That's what I thought it was. Okay. Please, if you can, we're not going to be here for a whole lot longer. So if you could do something for us now, that'd be awesome. Thank you. And this would have been your communal area where you would have eaten and had visitors maybe. Treat us like visitors. We've come here to see if we can speak to you. It's probably been a while. What the hell was that? It sound like a screechy type sound, or is it? No, it was more of a. It almost sounded like you know the scrap guy come around with a megaphone. It almost oh, yeah. sounded like that, but not at this time of night. No. Yeah, I heard it very faintly. See if Adrian heard it. It was loud. Yeah, it must have been. <laughs> I heard it very faintly. You're probably sick of us asking now, and we mean no disrespect with by it. But is there anything you could do for us, please? Maybe a family will be watching, recognise the building, and then potentially they could hear a message from you. And if that is you, and we're assuming it's something else, we're very sorry, but we're also very sceptical. Hmm. Well, we would love nothing more than to be able to communicate with you. Another big third, then. Hmm. There was two of them. I'm hearing them over there, but I'm kind of hearing them. Oh, oh yeah. I, it's I don't know. From over there. Well, I don't know whether it's like water building up and then a big drip is dripping on something, making it thud. I don't know. Um. It definitely seems from coming like above us. That's like a whistle then. To me, it sounded like a woman. Singing. Just did it again. It's like a. <laughs> it's weird, what? Right? I mean, why? Yeah, I don't know what the hell that is. Alright guys, so um, I'm keeping my voice below, we've all split up, um, I believe Adrian's gone upstairs, I've come into a room that we didn't know was here, it's right at the end of the building, it stinks down this end of the building, Mike's gone over to um, sort of the area that Adrian found and didn't tell us about, so we've all split up, try not to contaminate each other's sound. I haven't heard them, I've been stood here a good while. So I'm just going to do a little bit of calling out, sort of all three of us doing lone vigils, different parts of the building. So is there anyone in this room with me tonight? That's my stomach. If there is, could you come forward? I'd love to hear your voice. Or even be able to see you on camera. my stomach again. I 
So could you use your voice to speak to me, please? My name is Dale. And I'm interested in the afterlife, or if there is indeed an afterlife. So could you come forward and help me prove that, please? If you were to stand by the side of me or behind me, maybe I could see you. I hope you were looked after when you were here. Because there are stories of people being ill-treated, which ultimately led to some deaths. And then this care home being closed down. I'm hearing some distant banging and tapping. But obviously the building's got a lot of drippage. Could you knock on something for me, please? We are coming to the end of our investigation. I drove 154 miles to be here. I've got 154 to get home. My friends Adrian and Mike drove almost as far. We just came to see you, to have a conversation with you. So please use any energy you need, whatever you can. If you could possibly please give me a sign that you're here. So yeah, I think we're going to call it guys. Uh, big thanks to Dale yeah. again for coming out with us. Good to see you um, again. Yeah, good to see him again. Uh, I'm sure it won't be the last time. Absolutely not. No. And uh, yeah, we've had a good laugh. And uh, my shin hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I guess we'll see you again on the next one. Cheers guys. Good boy. Or he said. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet night. Well, it wasn't a quiet night, but uh, I think we've debunked every sound we heard. Yeah, absolutely everything. Ninety nine point nine percent of it. Yeah. But um, again, thank you for bringing me out. No, it's been um, it's been a pleasure. Always a pleasure. So uh, yeah, we're never going to fake anything. We're never going to claim things and not what they are. If you're going to paranormal investigate, you've got to actually investigate and look for the causes. Um, obviously, we were pre-armed a bit because the Ouija brothers have been here and said they heard a dog, heard voices. So we were a bit more alert to what we were looking for. So go subscribe to The Boys in Real Evidence. I mean, everyone should have watched them by now. And um, I'll catch you soon. Take care, guys. Bye. <laughs>